The Army's need to have a stable supply chain is at the top of their priorities, and any slowdowns or backlogs could be the difference between winning and losing on the battlefield. To reduce this risk, the Department of Defense has turned to 3D printing to fill the supply chain's most vulnerable areas. Experimentation began in 2012, but in 2019, the Army's investment into 3D printing took a massive leap forward, and now they are embarking on their most ambitious project yet. Rock Island Arsenal is the manufacturing hub for all U.S. military branches and is the nation's largest government-owned and operated arsenal. It provides manufacturing support for the armed forces through foundry operations, precision machining, and welding fabrication. In 2019, the Rock Island facility added a new technology when they officially opened the Center of Excellence for Advanced and Additive Manufacturing, which quickly became the military's largest collection of 3D printing technology. To aid the Army in transforming their manufacturing to include 3D printing, Phillips Federal and the U.S. Army entered into a public-private partnership to create the Phillips Additive Innovation Center at Rock Island. As part of this partnership, Phillips will be providing training and consulting services to Army engineers to assist them in achieving the Army's long-term additive manufacturing objectives. To make sure that the Army had the right equipment, Phillips partnered with 3D printer manufacturers EOS and Mark Forge in June of 2020 to provide the 3D printers required to print prototypes and fully functional replacement parts in both polymer and metal materials. In January of 2022, Phillips announced the acquisition of Australian company SPEE3D, who created the world's first large format cold spray metal 3D printing technology called Warp Speed 3D. These printers can print metal parts significantly faster in under field conditions, making them suitable for a mobile manufacturing station. The Army announced that it would incorporate these printers at the Rock Island facility. Once on site, the Warp Speed 3D will be used to progress the facility's 3D printing capability to develop and manufacture large format metal parts and prototypes on demand. In March of this year, Rock Island Arsenal unveiled plans for a big addition that will allow them to print at a scale never before achieved. The Additive Manufacturing Center became home to the largest 3D printer in the world, called the Jointless Hull Large Format Tool. Part of the Jointless Hull project, involving a partnership between the U.S. Army and Research Institute Astro America, the new printer will have the capability of printing an entire shell or hull for armored Humvees, tanks, and other large vehicles. Currently, the process of building a vehicle's frame involves forging and forming individual parts and attaching them using high-energy arc welds. The process is time-consuming and costly as many individual parts need to be made and then carefully assembled, usually by hand to the right specifications. Printing the jointless hull as a single component offers several benefits. The first is the added potential to more easily mass-produce any part which will increase supply chain efficiency as well as significantly decreasing production cost. The second more direct benefit is the ability to improve light weightedness and increase durability of the hull against attack, which is hugely beneficial for combat vehicles. Additive manufacturing has proven to be stronger and more durable than traditional welding, as welding can leave weak spots and unevenness. 3D printing allows the entire hull to be printed as one piece, which will result in thicker walls and fewer welded joints. The project will manufacture and deliver two separate machines. The first machine will have the capability to print up to one cubic meter in size and will be used to refine process development, print strategies, and print path planning. The second larger machine will have the capability to print within a build volume of 10 meters by 6.5 meters by 4 meters, which will make it the largest metal 3D printing system in the world. In 3D printing, the joining of material from one layer to the next is a critical aspect of the process and technology. Many popular metal additive manufacturing technologies make use of metal powders and lasers 
to lay down each layer and ensure that they form a tight bond. While blown powder systems have demonstrated the ability to scale at some large sizes, technologies based on powder beds have not. To overcome this challenge, the jointless hull tool will use Meld Manufacturing's unique solid state friction based additive manufacturing process. The technique does not melt the metal, but instead uses a rotating printhead to create friction. The rotation and pressure from the printhead onto the feedstock results in deformation and flow of metal that deposits onto a previously deposited layer forming a tight bond. The stock material used are rectangular bars fed through the top of a rotating printhead at a rate of 2 feet per minute. Because the metal is not melted and cooled, the deposition rate is much faster and is resistant to warping as the part is printed. And because the machine applies metal in an open air environment, this process can be used to repair existing parts. To enable metal additive manufacturing at scales large enough to sustain army ground vehicles, many challenges and approaches had to be considered and addressed by the system being developed in this program. The goal was to create a system that can rapidly fabricate large metal structures for a wide range of applications. Today, the Army's Advanced and Additive Manufacturing Center of Excellence has the capabilities to quickly print tools and spare parts in multiple polymers, metals, sand, and wax. And to date, they have printed more than 1,000 parts for the Department of Defense and private industry partners. To learn about another industry-changing metal 3D printer, check out this video. And if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing for more 3D printing news and stories. Thanks for watching.